Lucy here from Hunting for George. Today I am in Magnetic Island in far north Queensland. I have a very tropical A-frame to show you through today. She is lovingly referred to as Maggie. Let's go say hello. a very striking A-frame. This was actually built in the 90s. It's recently been given some new life. We've got a very large outdoor deck here, which really increases this outdoor entertaining space. Created a wonderful lounge area here to just chill, have a drink and watch the sun go down. Very tropical vibes out here. We've got a pool, we've got palms, we've got an outdoor fire. the way the charcoal fence kind of wraps around this and really accentuates that A-frame that has just been painted white. But let's go inside. Oh, gonna hang up my hat. Tell you what, it's hot in far north Queensland. It's very hot. So welcome to the interior of the Maggie A-frame. We, we have the living area over here. We've got some great couch spaces, um, lovely coffee table area, very tropical. It's a very bohemian vibe in here. I'm gonna test this hammock out. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is so comfortable. And I love the aspect as well. You get to see those amazing string lights. Beautiful view out to the palms. Oh, I could quite easily stay in here all day, but ugh, it's time to get out. Oh, too comfortable in there. So here we have the dining space. I like what they've done here. I think this is a lovely bohemian vibe. Like I said, there's lots of natural fibers. We've got lots of rattan. There's a room divider over here, which has sort of been treated as a softener in the corner, which is a nice touch. We've got a kitchen through here. I'm gonna take you in there later. First, I wanna actually check out the upstairs bedroom. and take a look through into the bedroom. I really like how dramatic it is here with the exposed timber beams. You're looking out onto the garden. You've got these wonderful string lights again. It's just very ambient. It's very, very magical up here. And I've got to say, this room is actually one of my favorite spaces in this home because this is an excellent chill out zone. You've got this day bed here, so you can just pass out, <laughs> have a siesta because it does get very hot. You can read your book and it's got the most beautiful aspect looking down over that living and dining. There's definitely lots of places to explore in this A-frame. We come through here, so this is our kitchen area. It's a basic kitchen, but it's very gorgeous. It matches, you know, the relaxed vibe of this interior, and it's got everything that you need. We've got a beautiful pop of artwork here, and it's, you know, it's nice because there's actually not many flat walls, so it's nice to see a pop of artwork. It leads you through into the bedroom. This 
is a lower level bedroom. We're at the base of the A here. It's a lot wider and also it is a bit cooler because it is on the lower level. I also really like what they've done here with this towel. You know, it's a really lovely sort of way to bring art to your wall and it's very much suits the summer vibe. And through here, we've got a bathroom area leading you outside. Tell you what, it's, it's thirsty work here in Queensland. It's very hot, we are in summer. So I'm going to cut up a bit of this pineapple because I need something refreshing. Beautiful. So nice. Ah. Mm. That's delicious. So, A-frame homes actually became quite popular in the 50s and 70s because they were quite an inexpensive way to build a home. And this particular home, the Maggie A-frame, was actually built in the 90s. It was built by a Swiss man, and there are definitely some Swiss chalet vibes going on in here. And recently, its new owner, Frankie, has given it a renovation to try and bring some more tropical vibes to this pad. Previously, it was quite heavy. There was a lot of dark timber in this space, and there still is quite a lot of dark timber. However, Frankie has actually brought in a lot more white. She has painted the front, that exterior of the building, and made that a very striking and bold A. I love the fact that she decided to fence it in as well and paint that fence charcoal, because it really wraps and envelops that A, and it makes it even more grand, and it really just elevates everything. The palms, that beautiful outdoor area, and it creates a wonderful private space in which to hang out. And to be honest with you, Magnetic Island, it gets very hot here, it's summer right now, so the fact that she's actually created more area out the front to be outside in that beautiful breeze, that's exactly what you want. So the particular renovations that happened in this A-frame recently was the addition of that large outdoor deck at the front of the A-frame. A bedroom was also put in upstairs, creating that wonderful loft bedroom area, as well as that great day bed space and kind of library chill out zone. All the fencing was new as well. And of course, a brand new paint job to go along with the fencing and the paintwork, both the exterior and the interior as well, was quite substantial, including an upgrade to the bathroom out the back. All up the renovation costs $35,000 and that actually includes all of the decor, the furniture and the finishings. And speaking of the decor, it's a wonderful kind of tropical shack vibe in here. You know, I really like how casual, relaxed, it's very bohemian. There's a lot of timber in here. So I love the fact that Frankie really tried to accentuate and bring in some white, you know, bring in some more lighter tones. Also the nature helps as well. There's some wonderful palms dotted throughout. One of my favorite spots, I've got two favorite spots in this home actually, but definitely the hammock on that lower living area. That is a beautiful spot. You look out over onto that front deck and all you can see is just palms and fairy lights and it's completely magical. As well as that, I really like the kind of siesta to David library area that runs off that upstairs bedroom, mainly because it's just got a wonderful aspect down below. I think it's always fun to be elevated. I just love a loft area. There's something about it. Because this is an A-frame, there isn't actually a lot of wall space. So there's not a heap of room for artwork, but I really do like that hero piece in the kitchen that is painted by Louise Numina and it was actually painted in Arnhem Land in community and it was whilst the owner Frankie was visiting Northern Territory. It's a wonderful piece, that striking black and white and I've been told that it's all about celebrating women and it's actually boobs, <laughs> all those beautiful mounds and those curves. It's a wonderful sensual piece and it has such story and culture behind it, which I think is incredibly important. As well as that, a really lovely treatment. It's not artwork as such, it's a beach towel, but it's been hung on the wall and I like the way it kind of brings in some more colour and personality to the walls in the bedroom. It's a wonderful blacklist piece. It kind of plays off very nicely with the other one as well. Again, black and white, very minimal. We're actually 
especially in Horseshoe Bay, which to be honest with you, every part of this island that I've seen so far is just completely magical. There are so many beautiful bays and beaches flanked by palms, there's wonderful boulders. And to be honest with you, 75% of this island is national park. So there are wonderful hikes, places to explore, and it still feels relatively untouched. And I think you'll always find that when you're on an island, you know, you're very remote. Your access is by boat, by ferry. So it will always kind of feel a bit disconnected from the mainland. And that's exactly kind of why you want to go to an island. You completely shift your lifestyle, your timeline changes, and everything just kind of becomes a bit slower, which is good. It's kind of what you want. And it just is a great change of pace. So its location on Magnetic Island is how this A-frame got its name, Maggie, and it really is a refreshing tropical twist on a Swiss A-frame. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'd love to know what you thought of the Maggie A-frame. Leave me a comment below and be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube because we've got plenty more home tours coming your way. Excuse me.